Dear viewers, welcome to Nursad Satellite Station in Tel El Amir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Jordan condemns continued attacks on Christian properties in Jerusalem. The Greek Orthodox Archdiocese launches a new course for those who are about to get married. We also have the Synod of the Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church in Amman. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings, and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking pilgrims and visitors wish to express to you their sentiments of deep respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his blessing, which he extends in a special way to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on the meaning and value of old age in the light of God's word, we now consider the healing of St. Peter's mother-in-law. The Gospel of Mark tells us that as she lay in bed with a fever, Jesus took her by the hand, and the fever left her, and she began to serve them. The fact that Jesus wished to heal her in the company of the disciples reminds us that the entire Christian community is called to be present to our brothers and sisters in need. We proclaim Christ's salvation and the hope offered by the gospel precisely by reaching out to those who, like so many elderly people in our communities, feel isolated and even abandoned. Peter's mother-in-law then responds with gratitude for the gift of God's mercy by getting up and immediately serving her guests. Within the Christian community, the elderly offer a precious service by their own example of gratitude for the gift of faith and the experience of the Lord's healing touch in their lives. They teach us that Christian discipleship is expressed in acts of charity, inspired by gratitude for the merciful love that touches and transforms our lives. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs condemned the continued attacks by the settlement groups on the properties of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate in Jerusalem, warning of the consequences of the recent Israeli Supreme Court decision on the property of the Church and the Christian presence in the Holy City. The Foreign Ministry affirmed the Kingdom's absolute rejection of all measures aimed at changing the historical and legal status in Jerusalem and its sanctities, including Islamic and Christian properties and endowments, and the Kingdom standing by the Jerusalemites and the Orthodox Church against the attacks of the settlers. The Foreign Ministry stressed that Jordan, based on the historical Hajmite custodianship of the Islamic and Christian holy places in Jerusalem, will continue to take all possible steps to protect the holy sites and to be the key to peace and a symbol of tolerance and harmony. Deputizing for Her Royal Highness Princess Sumayya bint al Hassan, Ms. Sakina Nasser Jude sponsored the graduation of the kindergarten students of the Rosary Sister Schools in Mazdar in the capital, Amman, on the theater of the school, which dates back to 73 years ago. In the presence of Sister Madeleine de Babne, the Deputy General of the Sisters of the Rosary, and a number of nuns, priests, and students' parents. In her speech, the principal of the school, Sister Caroline Badr, talked about the importance of education, especially in the Rosary Sister School. During the celebration, the procession of the graduates presented a bouquet of dances and chants that added a joyful atmosphere to the audience.
At the end of the celebration and after distributing certificates to the graduates' children, the Deputy General of the Congregation of the Rosary presented the honorary shield to the Delegate of Her Royal Highness Princess Sumayya bint al Hassan, Ms. Sakina Jude. She also honored several of the school's teachers who contributed to the graduation ceremony. Under the patronage of His Excellency Bishop Jamal al Abis, Latin Bishop of Jordan, the training activities for the principals of the Latin Patriarchate schools, which lasted for a whole year, were concluded in partnership with the Academy of Leadership and Administrations in Lebanon. The course was presented by Dr. Raymond al Khouri in a final meeting that was held for three days, during which the principals of the Latin Patriarchate schools in Jordan obtained accredited international certificates. This course was held over a period of 160 training hours in which the participants benefited from the new principle in management and intelligent leadership. The Arab Evangelical Redeemer Episcopal Church of the Diocese of Jerusalem in Amman celebrated the service of the Holy Communion and the opening of the Holy Synod in 2022, where several bishops from the Episcopal Evangelical Church coming from Palestine, Syria and Lebanon and the presence of bishops from local churches other than the Episcopalian met with a group of pastors who came from different governorates of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, responding to the call of communion and unity adopted by the Synod as a title for this year. The complex lasted for four days, in which it discussed several local and regional issues committed to the principle of the company in service, to the good of man and the continuation of faith. As an expression of belonging to the homeland of harmony and pride in the Arab army and its sacrifices and in order to enhance the message of harmony and belonging to the homeland, the Center for Religious Coexistence organized a celebration for the occasion of the Royal Coronation Day, the Army Day and the anniversary of the Great Arab Revolution at the Center's headquarters in Jabal al -Wibde. The celebration was attended by Arab and foreign military attaches and some officials. During the ceremony, several official and media figures were honored for their distinguished national role, followed by reception in the center's outer courtyard. In the Holy Land, the Pope Paul VI Foundation, located in the city of Bethlehem, celebrated its 50th jubilee with a mass presided over by his beatitude prayer Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem. Several priests, nuns, teachers, and children of the foundation participated in the celebration held in the institution's church. After the Mass, which was attended by several religious and official figures, all the guests were invited to a fraternal reception. The idea of establishing this institution was born when Pope Paul VI visited the Holy Land. During his pilgrimage, he noticed many deaf and mute children in Palestine needing medical services. So he decided to establish a private institution for them. It includes a school equipped with appropriate and modern scientific equipment. The necessary funding has been provided due to cooperation with the Papal Mission in Palestine through the Apostolic Nuncio in Jerusalem. This institution now includes about 180 children from kindergarten to secondary school. Each of them is provided with a comprehensive educational program and re-education voice education in addition to many services. A new session has started at the Cathedral of the Annunciation in Amman for those who are about to get married. With the participation of more than 130 engaged young men and women, and it will be over a period of three months, with three lectures per month. At the beginning of the meeting, Archmandrite Christophorus Haddad addressed the couple, saying, It is important for the newlyweds to remain close to the church, to communion and true love between spouses, and the importance of reading the Bible. And every person will be questioned about the sanctification of their partner, as the basis of marriage is love, like the love of our Lord Jesus. The message of marriage is in obedience and love, which complement each other as the role of the mother family and the role of the family surrounding them have been emphasized and focused on, as it can lead to the success or failure of the new relationship or family. 
the Patriarchate celebrated the northern ordination of two students from Bejala Seminary by laying the hands of his Beatitude Patriarch Pierre Batista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem. A week after Pentecost, celebrations continued in the Diocese of Jerusalem. After years of studying at the seminary, seminarians Yazan Badir and Michael Adib were ordained evangelical deacons at the Latin Patriarchate Cathedral in Jerusalem. The ordination was attended by a group of students' families, in addition to many bishops and priests of the Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, including Bishop William Shomali, Patriarchal General Vicar, Bishop Rafiq Nohra, Patriarchal Vicar for Galilee, Father Nicodemus Shanabel, Patriarchal Vicar for Immigrants and Asylum Seeker, Bishop Paul Marcuso, and Father Bernard Boji, President of the Institute. We wish all new deacons all the best and success in the service of the Church. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Jordan condemns continued attacks on Christian properties in Jerusalem. The Greek Orthodox Archdiocese launches a new course for those who are about to get married. The Synod of the Arab Evangelical Episcopal Church in Amman. For more information, please visit our website www.norsadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.